In the halfway point of 4.5's death patch, a glimmer of hope shines onto the path while we wait for our Lakina. While we wait, I'll quickly go over the strengths and weaknesses for Kazuha and Nuvolet. Shared Pros Both have AoE capabilities, Kazuha in the form of grouping and Nuvolet in the form of reach. They can both fit into various team compositions. Both offer valuable support slash utility to their teams. Kazuha's Advantages Enables a wider range of team compositions due to his flexible support role. Acts as a primary AoE damage shielder for teams lacking in that department. His elemental mastery scaling makes him easy to build and effective in quickly boosting team damage output. Nuvolet's Strengths Built-in self-healing and high built HP, providing sustainability. Like Geo characters with higher base multipliers to make up for no reaction, there's no dedicated HP buffer yet, so Nuvolet is designed with higher multipliers too. His AoE damage is potent and independent, not relying on Kazuo or other animal groupers for AoE. Benefits from Kazuo's damage percent buff, but doesn't rely on them for high performance. Considerations for different account types. For new players, it's essential to note that while Nuvolet may offer stronger immediate performance due to his multipliers, the primary limiting factor for any DPS character is the quality of artifacts. It takes time to gather suitable gear, typically around 4-6 to six weeks for a crit based damage dealer to be decent. His only real option will be the Marseille Hunter artifact set. On the other hand, Kazuo's reliance on elemental mastery main stat pieces from the Viridescent Venner set means that he can be built faster than Nuvolet. Your immediate goal is to get the 4 piece set bonus and sufficient elemental mastery for his burst damage scaling and swirl reactions. This means that using 4 star artifacts over 5 star of the same set is acceptable in the meantime as the jump to 5 star will only be a little bit more in the main stat and one less roll in the substats and we can feed that exp into the 5 star directly as we are only focusing on the main stat and the substats are just a bonus. Only 2 pieces will require being unset, 2 elemental mastery or 1 elemental mastery and 1 energy recharge main stat from the viridescent venner set because the off piece can be used from any other artifact. The substats that you realistically only care about our elemental mastery and energy recharge because the flower and feather will be significantly easier to build due to the main stat having no RNG and what it can roll. In theory, you could hit 1000 elemental mastery and 160 or more energy recharge in a perfect build. However, this is completely overkill for the game. You should primarily focus on having enough energy recharge to consistently burst every rotation and then try to hit 800 or more elemental mastery. Weapon recommendations. For weapons, Nuvolet can use the Prototype Amber, the Jade Catalyst from the Battle Pass, Ballad of the Boundless Blue, which is an event weapon that we recently got, or Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. While Kazuha benefits from weapons like the Favonia Sword, Iron Sting, Tokobo Shigure, the Umbrella, and the Dark Iron Sword is good too. Both of these characters have options that are very easy to get even on a free to play bum account with nothing on it. Playstyle Considerations Kazuo's versatility allows players to avoid attacks or stagger enemies easily, making him adaptable in all combat scenarios. Nuvolet offers consistent damage and AoE capabilities, making him a reliable damage healer but may lack the versatility of Kazuo in team compositions. In conclusion, both Kazuo and Nuvolet offer valuable contributions to a team, but their differences lie in playstyles and team dynamics. While Kazuha can both be a passive addition to a team or a highly active support, Nuvolet teams will always make him the defining anchor of your team for better or for worse. Ultimately, the choice between them may come down to personal preference and playstyle. It's not really going to be a choice between power, just a balance of who you think is cooler and what you think that you should get for power. Both are similar enough for your account, so it really just comes down to if you like the idea of investing into a DPS who's frankly a solid package in all aspects, or a support who goes into tons of teams and you actively see him appear on the field a lot because of his flexible short cooldown grouping. If you're worried that you won't see Kazuo much like other supports, you don't need to worry about that. Now if you were to ask me which character I would personally choose on my own account, I would always go for Kazuo due to him being a support in so many different teams, meaning I won't get bored of running him unlike DPS who eventually Eventually, you likely will want to bench and move on from, however long that period of time may be. I hope this video was helpful to your choice, even though it came out late due to me being busy, and please subscribe if you found me useful today. Peace.